Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross and today we're doing a little bit of a different video. This is something you normally wouldn't see from me. I'm talking into a camera for once and you guys actually get a full close up of my face. Normally I'm streaming and you guys get some gameplay, but today I'm making a video strictly for YouTube to talk to you guys about Zenny. They're sponsoring today's video and if you guys haven't figured it out, it's about eyeglasses. And they sent me a couple different pairs of glasses and I wanted to check them out today. But uh, they're a little bit special. There's something unusual about these glasses that you're probably not used to. And we'll go over that here in a minute. But these glasses are UV blue blocking glasses. They block blue light or blue LED light. Um, something similar to that is I think the best way to refer to these is blue blockers, more commonly known as. Hopefully that reflection's not too bad. But what these do, these actually block that blue light from like your phone, your monitor, your TV, and other objects that just kind of emit that out there. Um, pretty much you can't get away from it anymore. And as a streamer, you guys know, if you follow my channel, I've worn glasses since I was probably about 21, 20 years old. Thankfully, I gotta go through middle school, high school, but once I got into college, I had to get glasses. My vision kind of just went a little bit downhill. So it's always important to get your, get your eyes checked. Uh, you never know what could happen. But uh, what these do, these pretty much protect your eyes from blue light and how that works. They have a special coating on them. I'll show you guys how that works too. Um, I actually have a special tool to do that and this is pretty cool. So this right here is a blue um, light or I guess you could say a UV light and it's really bright and it's really cool. But what these glasses are is they're framed or they're laminated or they're basically just kind of um, covered with a layer that blocks that light. And I'll try to show it to you without shining this in my eyes. So this is really bright. You guys already saw that earlier, but this is what it looks like on my skin. It's pretty bright right now, but watch what happens when I go through the lens. I won't shine it in my eye, it'd be a bad idea. But look how it disappears. You barely see it compared to how bright it is here. And look at how much of that disappears. Almost like 90 some plus percent of that just goes away. It's very hard to see. The first time I got these, I was already wearing a pair and then I got an extra pair sent in the mail to me and I already had them on and I was playing around with the laser light and I was looking at my wall and I couldn't see it. That's how good these are. I was actually really surprised with that. And I always try to find sponsorships or companies that I wanna work with or something that I use. And I wear glasses a lot and I've been wearing these on the stream for the past couple weeks. Super comfortable, the materials are good. And I think honestly it's a good product and it's something you guys should probably consider if you wear glasses and you play a lot of games or if you just sit in front of a screen like I do. Um, it's a huge thing and it's something that you should probably be concerned with. But uh, basically these are gonna give your eyes a rest. What blue light does is it kind of messes with your body. Natural daylight, um, basically blue light mimics that. And what it'll do with your brain is your brain starts making chemicals that wakes you up and that'll keep you up late at night and it'll keep you up just like normal days. It kind of messes with your normal cycle, your body rhythm. And that's something that's really hard to fix if you're constantly looking at screens, similar to my, someone in my position as well, just constantly. I stream for about 10 hours a day. I'm always looking at monitors during that time. Even when I'm done streaming, I'm on my phone, I'm on my laptop, I'm checking emails, I'm doing business stuff, I'm watching TV. Um, you just can't get away from it. It's pretty much everywhere in our life right now. So it's definitely something that you guys want to do and take charge of and might want to pick up a pair of glasses like these. These are pretty affordable. My previous pair of glasses cost about $425. Think about that. None of these were even close. I think this pair in my hands was the most expensive. I think it was about 75, and then I obviously had shipping charges and some other stuff there, but I think this was about 70 to $75. The majority were about 60 to, to 70-ish. I think these were a little bit cheaper, but uh, so far, they're actually really impressive and I'm surprised at the quality and actual how well they block that light. Now it's not going to affect your vision by any means but uh, it's something that you might want to consider like make sure you get your prescription right when you go on the site. So I'm going to go try these other pairs on and I'm kind of curious what you guys think looks like the best one because there's so many different styles out there today and it's hard to find something that you might want but uh, they make a pretty good job of it or making it pretty easy to find something nice. Um, don't make the mistake that I did. Use the online tool that they have. What they, what you can do is you can take a selfie, upload that image, and then they'll fit like the actual uh, glasses to your face. Like if you're kind of curious, you can cycle through all the ones they have to offer to try to find one that fits better for your face. But I didn't do that with this pair. I just kind of randomly found a pair that had good reviews and was like, yeah, I think it'll work. So I ordered that one. This one I actually used the tool on and this one looked really well. 
This one, not so much. So you'll see a little bit of a difference. Um, they're not bad by any means. I still like them. It's just that for my face, I think they're just a little too round and a little bit too thick in the middle. So it's always important to find a style that best fits you and try to find different things. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So this is the second pair. Um, if you guys want to know which one looks better, let me know like one, two, or three in the chat. I'm kind of curious in the comments which one you guys like more. Um, so these ones are a little bit more round. Um, they block the light the same as the other ones as well. But uh, it's just the frame and the style is different. These are a little bit bold. It's something that I've never owned. Usually I keep thin frames because they just kind of blend in with my face pretty well and they don't stand out much. But I wanted to try something different. So I ordered a couple unusual frames just to see and get a feel for how I would look with them in the future if I want to get more or try that style. So this is probably my favorite one. This is the third one. And they're a little bit bigger, a lot wider at the top, a lot wider on the side, but they're square. They're very square. And I think these look pretty good for me for even being very big, but I like the shape on them. Obviously it might look a little bit different if I'm staring directly into the camera as I am now and I have a lot of lights on me. But overall, I think these look probably out of the, almost the best. I'd say number one's pretty good too, but I like the size of these and I actually like the weight on them. And one thing that's really cool is they're super comfortable. The nose, on top of here, hopefully that focuses for you guys and you can see it, but how they rest on your nose, they don't actually have the pads there, it's just a solid frame, and they sit perfectly. Like you can position them further down or further back, it just depends on what's more comfortable for you, but I found these to be probably one of the best ones I have, and they're really good at blocking uh, the blue light again. Um, each one is pretty much the same, you won't, you won't notice it when you shine it on there um, at all. So it's really gonna help your vision, it's really gonna protect your vision and kinda give you a healthier lifestyle to just kinda protect your eyes. Something you might wanna consider if you guys are looking for glasses recently, not to mention they're affordable. Because before, I only had one pair of glasses. Like I mentioned, they were about $400. These running about 50 to 60 to 80. Um, they have some cheaper options, some more affordable options on there too, if you guys are interested. And it's really easy just to kind of pick out three or four pairs. And that way you can kind of find a style or you can just change your style. That's something huge. I'll probably be back and I'll probably order a couple different ones because I'm just kind of curious to try to find another pair that works better for me. And then just keep changing throughout the week. Um, some of these I like wearing at home because they're just more comfortable. And then even then I just wear them outside anyway because they're just, um, I just like how they look either way. But guys, thank you again for watching today's video. I appreciate it. I'll probably be back soon with some more live streams. I know you guys are eager to get into that. But Zenny, I wanted to say thank you guys again for working with me and giving this opportunity. I think it's a great opportunity and a good thing that you guys are doing over there trying to help us protect our eyes as streamers, gamers, whichever. Um, this is something that I don't think you can take for granted and it's definitely something you want to keep an eye on. <laughs> no pun intended. But guys, thanks again for stopping in the stream. Um, let me know which eyeglasses you like the best in the comments below. Um, definitely go check out Zenny. I'll have a link for them as well. And thanks again guys for watching. See you soon.